Hi there. My name is Nick Scandy, and I am an analog applications engineer at Texas Instruments. Are you experiencing excessive noise in an audio system with a Delta Sigma digital to analog converter and a Class D amplifier? If so, I can help diagnose the problem and provide a simple trick to fix it. The Delta Sigma converter topology has an inherent quality that allows the output to achieve a very low in-band noise floor by pushing noise outside the band. In this example, our codec, the TI-TLV320 AIC3254, is operating at a sampling rate of 44.1 kHz. Sampling theory tells us that the DAC can output up to half of the sampling rate, or 22 kHz, which is enough to cover the entire audio band. But outside that band, we see the noise floor ramp up by as much as 40 to 50 dB. Now normally noise outside the audio band isn't a huge deal because it's not audible. But when connecting the output of a Delta Sigma DAC to a Class D amp, such as the TPA2054, that higher frequency noise can modulate with the switching frequency of the amp and end up back in the audio band. So what's the solution? Luckily, if we apply a simple RC filter to the output of the AIC3254 as shown before, we can attenuate the out-of-band noise. Here is an FFT of that same AIC3254 output sampled at 44.1 kHz after an RC filter with a pole of 30 kHz has been applied. That filter did a pretty good job in knocking that out-of-band noise by about 10 to 15 dB. Let's hook the system up and do a final listen just to make sure. Sounds pretty good. So to recap, although the inherent noise shaping characteristics of a Delta Sigma DAC typically push noise outside the audio band, coupling a converter like the TLV320 AIC3254 with a Class D amp like the TPA2054 can lead to a scenario where out-of-band noise is modulated back into the audio band. However, a simple 30 kHz filter in between the DAC and the amp can knock down that out-of-band noise floor and help you achieve the clean audio output you're looking for. I hope you found this video helpful. Be sure to visit TI's E2E online community where you can view other videos, ask questions, and share your knowledge.